Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we're looking at number 101 in the line. Uh, we're into the 100s, which is crazy. Um, we have Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. Very, very excited about this figure and seeing this character in action. It says, Cara Dune, a veteran of the Galactic Civil War who fought for the Rebellion. Cara Dune is a seasoned warrior who has put her days of military discipline behind her and now reinvented herself as a mercenary. And what a kick-ass looking character she is. Um, this figure is just really, really nice. The, fo the photo real deco on the face is just... They've just captured it perfectly. So... We'll I'll just move her back and we'll give you a bit of a 360 while I've got her posed up like this. We'll have a look at her accessories. But uh, yeah, it's just a just a really cool, really cool looking character. So like I said, accessory wise, she does have a small pistol here in her holster. Which reminds me of like the noisy cricket from Men in Black. It's a tiny little thing, but imagine she'll put it to, to deadly use. But that uh it does fit nicely there in her holster. And it does peg peg closed over the top there. So that looks pretty good. She also comes with a little dagger. Which unfortunately doesn't really have anywhere to slot. She hasn't got a little pouch for it or anything. Um, it will sort of just sort of tuck in the belt. Um, or in, around the back. But I thought she may have had like a sheath on the leg. I thought that's what that was. Was there like a sheath in the on the leg for her to slot that in? But that's okay. She does come with this this big um, blaster rifle, which unfortunately is made of a bit of a bit of a dull plastic. Um, they have sort of put some brown in at the stock end and the handle, but overall it's a little bit weak. It could do with a could do with a bit of a coat of paint to be honest um, it just looks a little bit a little bit slack for the most part but not to worry I might just put a primer over it and uh, see how that goes but still pretty awesome it also comes with this strap which is Attachable via a peg hole there. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get back in. Um, but it does also just clip in, clip over the top of the barrel. So you can have her wearing this over her shoulder. Like that or something. And just If you wanted to. But I'd rather have her armed and ready to kick some ass. So we get a nice close-up look of her face here. You can really, really almost see that Rebel Alliance tattoo that she has there on her cheek. Which is really awesome. You know, I'm, I'm really, really excited about this character. Um, really great likeness to Gina Carano. And uh, just seeing Gina Carano doing the press and everything for The Mandalorian and how excited she is about it. Um, she just seems like such a sweetheart and I've developed a bit of crush on her, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, but I know she would it would take her all of about three seconds to absolutely crush me into the floor, um, being a MMA fighter or former MMA fighter. But yeah, she'll be able to absolutely kick some ass. Just look at the armor and her outfit. It's it's awesome. I like the weathering around the uh, sort of shoulder and upper chest armor there. It's good. Just the colors, the blues, the sort of bluey green, um, aquamarine sort of look that goes throughout the entire outfit. 
It's just a really good look. Big boots, it just looks like a nice clean looking uniform despite being dirty um, and worn in parts like some grey scoring there. Um, it just it comes it just feels very Star Wars to me. So like an armband tattoo there. It's just a really good good looking figure, great looking character. Hair's badass. I'm thrilled with this one. In terms of articulation, she has a ball jointed head. Looks like she's got the double neck joint. Uh, not so much the, the lower, but the upper. She has ball hinged shoulders. Ball hinged elbows, which do move nicely. Good range of movement there. Ball hinged wrists. Uh, upper joint in the torso there. Ball hinged in the, in the thighs, in the hips. Swivel cut in the thighs. Double joints in the knees and ball hinge in the ankles. Just a really, really good action figure, this one. And we're, uh, we're only about a week or so away until we get the uh, premiere for The Mandalorian, which is really exciting. Um, unless you're in the UK, in which case you've been very, very short-changed, and that is, that is really unfortunate. Um, it, it just plain sucks, but fortunately that's the way it is. I'm actually surprised that Australia's getting it a week after the States. I thought we'd have to wait, wait about 20 years, but besides the point, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Definitely recommend this figure. She's one to go out and hunt for. Um, looks awesome next to the Mandalorian. So thank you very much for watching. I we'll have some more videos coming very, very soon. But until then, may the force be with you. Always.